All right, now I have the special privilege of being joined by Vikings team president and owner Mark Wilf. And Mark, congratulations on the first round. Uh, Christian Derisaw selected him with the 23rd overall pick. For starters, I, I think he seems like a guy that's going to be playing in the purple and gold for a long time. Would you agree? I, w I would agree, Gabe, and uh, we're really excited to have him. We just met him outside, and just a great young man, and uh, I know he's super excited and uh, a great future ahead of him for sure. Absolutely, and of course, Rick Spillman had to trade back to get to get him, and I think that is the 36th time since Rick has been GM that he's traded back in the draft. And I think for you, like being in the draft room with him, does it surprise you anymore when he's making some of these trades and see what guys best fit the organization? Well, no, I think Rick and our entire uh, scouting staff, our football operations, Coach Zimmer, all the coaches, they they've worked incredibly hard. They have a great chemistry and uh, teamwork. Uh, amongst them, so uh, we have a lot of confidence in in their ability to do it, and it is it is uh, quite remarkable to watch it mm -hmm. and to live through it, and a, a lot a lot of heart beating moments there as we're dropping or trying to get up or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, but really exciting that we were able to get our guy. I'm sure you were excited to be in the room physically this year, also, right? Yeah, it was it was nice. You know, last year was it was uh, the league did a great job, and, and uh, the virtual draft was exciting in a lot of ways. But really good to be amongst the team and be in the room. Absolutely. And I mean, this offseason has been unprecedented. This year has been unlike any other that we have ever seen. Uh, but, you know, with that said, did that make you become more involved in the process or it was, you know, as is? Well, we try to stay engaged. We're okay. constantly communicating with uh, Rick, the entire team, uh, just to make sure we're, we're, we're going in the about things the right way. So we're engaged, we're active, but we know enough to know uh, that Coach and uh, Rick and the entire football group uh, we trust them uh, and we know that they are uh, doing their homework and they, they're working hard and, and uh, we have a lot of confidence in them. With that confidence, I mean, you, you build confidence in the draft, even with Christian Derisaw, you built confidence with this defense in the free agency period that just passed. How many more you know, picks or how many more guys do you think we are away from you know, making another run? Well, they're never enough. We're always, con always trying to make ourselves better. Our goal is always to be competing and hopefully winning championships. Mm -hmm. So we're still at work. We got a lot of picks tonight. We got a lot of picks uh, this weekend. And uh, the process is never ending. And Rick and the group will tell you it's 24 7 and always combing, whether it's the free agency wire or uh, the draft or wherever it has to be. We're going to constantly look to improve and get us to where we need to be. I think, you know, the, the ultimate goal on the field is, is a Lombardi trophy, right? But off the field, I feel like you guys have already won that. Look, I mean, if you look at the facilities here at Vikings Lake, I mean, this is a state-of-the-art facility. Christian Derisaw just said that in his press conference. But the goal when you and Mark bought the team uh, back, you and Ziggy bought the team back in 2005 was to become a family-first, first-class organization. I think that that action is starting, that vision is starting to come to life when you look at the Omni Hotel. I mean, USA Curling just moved its headquarters to Vikings Lakes. How are you feeling now? U.S. Tennis Association. Yep. Uh, listen, Vi Viking Lakes really fits well with our brand. The Vikings brand in Minnesota and in, in sports is about excellence and first class, and Viking Lakes really represents that. It's, it's, it's first class all the way. We're about a live, work, and play environment. And we talk about life in fresh air, mm -hmm. especially in these times. The space here, the high level amenities are, are second to none. And we're just excited just in five years how far we've come with all the type of amenities you're talking about. So, and the best part is we can't wait to get our fans back here to enjoy training camp and get to a season and have all our fans back in all, all the different environments we've created. Uh, before we talk about fans, because I know fans are, are excited to come back to U.S. Bank Stadium, but with, you, with us just announcing that the USA curling team just moved its headquarters here, could you talk about how that partnership came about and what attracted you to moving them here? Well, it, we're trying to be a, a, a first-class environment, like I said, in a lot of ways. And mm -hmm. USA curling, of course, the, the men's gold medal uh, in, in 2018 and, and the great success and prominence. And, you know, USA curling, is, is a big part of the Olympic uh, uh, sport, and it's great in Minnesota, great fan base, and they, we, we announced just today that they're moving their headquarters here, so we're excited about the fact that they cannot just have their offices here, but their athletes are moving here. They're able to work out in our great training house facility, mm -hmm. so uh, it, it makes sense that it's in Minnesota. Uh, it's a great market. They can uh, be a near major transportation hub 
get all over the world for their different events, and we're just excited to have them on board. Absolutely, and it's another opportunity to bring people together, and that's what it's all about. And more importantly, you know, bringing fans back to U.S. Bank Stadium, I think that is the number one question that fans are asking right now. So how optimistic are you about the safe return to U.S. Bank Stadium I in am, the future? I am optimistic, and uh, I know we're working a lot with the state of Minnesota, Governor Walls. We, we, we've, we've been impressed with the efforts. We're working with uh, the public officials to make sure about it. And I'm, I'm optimistic we'll have fans back at, at the stadium. And boy, did we ever miss it. I mean, last year it was surreal in a lot of ways for certainly our, our team. And uh, we can't wait to get back to it. We, we feel we have the best home field advantage in the NFL. And uh, we're, like I said, we're, we're, we're optimistic it's going to happen. And uh, we're looking forward to everyone getting healthy, getting vaccinated. and. And, and getting back to uh, to U.S. Bank Stadium. And to that point of the vaccinations, how important is you know vaccinations to allow fans to be able to come back in person? Well, it's super important. Uh, public health, of course, is, uh, is 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 a huge priority for all of us to be in a safe environment. And uh, we're proud of the role we've we've played. U.S. Bank Stadium, TCO Performance Center has been a vaccination site. Mm -hmm. And like I said, uh, we've worked with Governor Walls and all the other sports leaders to try to get our fans and the public uh, vaccinated and back to enjoying what, what they, they want to enjoy, which is Vikings football and, and winning football. So hopefully that'll happen very soon. Yeah, we all got our fingers crossed and we're looking forward to it, guys. So do your part in making sure we can return to U.S. Bank Stadium and return to life more normally. Mark, I appreciate your time today. Thanks, Gabe. Great being with you. Yes, sir.